Ah! Ah, look, so long, so long. Today is day four in Oman. We woke up in the middle of the desert. Last night was super chilly and super quiet, but we were so cozy in our tent. We woke up to Muhammad making us breakfast this morning. He made us this delicious homemade bread and of course, coffee. I was nervous there wasn't gonna be coffee in the desert. <laughs> so today we're getting back in the car and we are going to attempt to drive ourselves out of the desert. We are completely on our own this morning. The goal is to get back to the town where we started put air in the tires because we had to let some out yesterday to be able to drive in the desert and then drive about an hour to a wadi which I believe is like an oasis it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful and then tonight we're coming back to the desert. Do you remember where you're going? To... I don't know <laughs> this is so crazy I can't believe they just let people drive through the middle of the desert and she was like, yeah, just, just go straight back the way we came. And the way we came did not feel straight. Don't worry, we have about three and a half water bottles. If we get <laughs> stranded in the desert, we have plenty of water. And now we are on our way to the Wadi. Should be about a 40 minute drive. If we're going the right way. I'm gonna pull over Probably here. gonna be a longer drive. Even if we get lost on our way to the Wadi, I'm so proud of us for getting out of the desert all by ourselves. I think we're going in the right direction. I mean, we're just driving through Oman right now. Why all by not? ourselves. Why not? Keep going. lost and stuck now we're just lost so we put the name of the wadi in the gps and it turns out the name of the wadi is the same name as the town so we got to the town thinking it would just be this beautiful oasis hi hello um do you know where the water pools are water water right here where I think he says follow him. Oh, okay. We just thought it would be obvious where the pools were when we got here, and it's definitely not. It is an oasis. There are palm trees everywhere, but it's just a town. Straight? Do we turn or just straight? Thank you. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Bye -bye. Turns out we just didn't drive far enough. We have made it to the wadi, but we really have no clue what to expect. I'm wearing my swimsuit, Kara's That's not. <laughs> I think we're gonna be doing a little bit of hiking. I think there are gonna be some pools. Oasis. This is crazy. For the last two days, we've been driving through nothing but just like dry, barren land. And then out of nowhere, there's this giant pool of like beautiful, clear water. I wish so badly we could take the drone up right here just to show you how beautiful this green area is in the middle of this desert. But unfortunately, as you may have noticed by the lack of drone shots the last few days, we did not bring the drone on this trip. We actually booked a round trip flight, so we're going back to get it. So like several of these countries that we're gonna be going to over the next couple of weeks have pretty strict drone laws. And by strict, I mean, you're not allowed to bring drones into the country. So we thought it was best just to leave it at home for now since we can go back and get it. Do not jump. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, is this the cave? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything in there? Yes. Hyenas. Hyenas. <laughs> no problem. Go. He's down? Yes. I don't want to go. <laughs> Turns out there was not very much to see in the cave, at least without a flashlight. It was just a hole that went like into the center of the earth. There was like warm air. Yeah, but out unlike normal it. caves that are like cool, felt very claustrophobic. That's weird. I felt like the locals that were like hanging out up there were like trying to play a joke on us. Even though this hike didn't have much of an ending, it was still really cool. And instead of going back over the rocks, we're gonna switch. So good. It feels like a bathroom. I don't know. We're making it look like we're all alone in the video, but we're not. That was way better than I expected. We could have spent the entire day there, but we have to head back to Badaya and meet our transportation. And this is our transportation to the camp tonight. So tonight, instead of staying at a camp like we did last night, we were actually going to stay at a traditional Bedouin house. Just like Han, he's old. Very <laughs> old. How old? How, what's old for a camel? 17 years. 17 years. Wow. Where do I hold? Touch. Here? Oh. I'm so scared. Please don't bite me. <laughs> you think he needs to be in the front. His teeth are way too close to my rear. Good. good. Very good, very good. As long as he's good, I'm good. <laughs> Heading up into the dunes now to get a good vantage point for sunset. We're being nice to the camels, so it got off, so they don't have to carry the extra weight going up the dunes. I mean, it's literally sticks, like a stick house. But otherwise, in one day, I will not find it. They will eat it for all. They'll eat you the know, house. Are, yes. He was telling us that these wooden houses that they build can stand as long as 10 years, as long as you keep the camels away from them, because apparently if the camels could get to them, they like to eat them. I also just heard that there's going to be halloumi cheese at dinner. Look how cute. New desert camp. Same really cool coffee pot. If it is dark, dark. Sky, sky, stars, stars. Shooting star there, something like uh, fireworks. Wow. Green sometimes, sometimes orange. That's other other place. I mean, completely that you feel when you think about this whole universal and you are in this place alone. How many people you are the lucky one you are here? All the world they are busy. Else they are sleeping, working, doing things, and you are in this part of the world alone. We just finished a lovely dinner in the tent, and now we have hot Omani tea, a fire, and so many stars to watch. Oh, <laughs> 